can hear this. You are not alone. This is the Resistance. What's up, everyone? This is the Tin Man with the Resistance. If you're watching this, you are the Resistance. And today, I am at the Hemet California's Center for Spiritual Living for an interreligion concert and evening of music. Now, why am I here covering this? And why is it even relevant? Well, the answer to that is simple. We live in a world where we as a people are divided. We are divided by the color of our skin, the language we speak, our personal and political views, and even our religious beliefs. And what it always usually comes down to is the same old argument, especially in religion. I'm right, you're wrong. My faith has it right, your faith is wrong. And what makes this event here so special and why I'm covering it is because aside from it being a concert, it is bringing together various religious groups several different denominations in religious faiths who normally have nothing in common are all coming together under one roof for a night of music and fun and just to say, you know what? We may believe a certain way or practice our religion in different and certain ways, but we all believe in the same God. So let's Let's call it a truce and have fun. Hi, I'm Reverend Diane Nagy. I'm the senior minister here at the Center for Spiritual Living in Hemet. And I'm so excited because this is the first interfaith evening of music that we have. We have a very active interfaith council here in the Hemet San Jacinto Valley. And we are blessed in that the city council allows us to do an invocation at every city council meeting. And those of us take turns doing, doing the invocation at our meeting. The only reason we're able to do this is we never identify our own church. We just say we're part of the Interfaith Council, and that way we enjoy that. And today, we're having our first music program, and I saw the rehearsal last night. You will just be blown away if you stay for it. We have duets and solos and flute and piano, and it's just a very exciting night. With bun cake and coffee and in the... In the Afterwards. I really enjoy being a member of the interfaith community. It has been established for many years, and people from every denomination, we have probably 20 or so people um, during, the, during the month at our monthly meeting. And we, this, is, this is a project that we take on. The other project is, is doing the invocation of the city council. And we share what it is our church is doing. We support one another. We have a day of service. Different churches are doing different things. This week we, we offered a pound of coffee or two pounds of coffee to all of the fire stations around the valley for the wonderful service they provided us during the fire up the hill from us and for keeping us safe. So that's just our small project. But this is a big project. This is the first time this has happened, and I know it's going to be the first of many. After having interviewed several members of what we now know to be the Interfaith Council and having done my own research on the matter, I have learned that this is one of the only programs, if not the only program, like this on the planet. And this program actually consists of over 32 different religions, denominations, and groups whose whole purpose is to promote mutual understanding and respect among all faiths, share the members' concerns and deal with the issues that affect their community, their nation, and the world, and serve the needs of the faith communities in the valley. Now, I couldn't agree with that more. You know, it's not as if they're trying to create a one-world religion. They're just coming together and saying, hey, Let's all get along and work with each other rather than against each other and end the whole my religion's right, your religion's wrong nonsense. And being that this is one of the only, if not the only programs like this, 
I personally would like to see something like this grow beyond the Hemet San Jacinto, California area. I would like to see this become nationwide, if not worldwide. So, if you would like more information on this, they have a Facebook page. Just run a search for Interfaith Council, Hemet, California. Or you can email them at interfaithcouncil1985 at yahoo.com. And if you are in or around the Hemet San Jacinto, California area, they hold meetings every second Thursday of each month at 8.30 a.m. at the First Christian Church off of 200 East Acacia Avenue in Hemet, California. And until next time, this is the Tin Man with the Resistance. If you're watching this, you are the Resistance.